If there's one thing I've always loved about the Star Wars movies and TV shows... Go it's, on. It's the utter disrespect for any of the creatures that exist within this world. The <gasps> wanton murder of all the Star Wars fauna. Exactly. exactly. Whether it be a Gorax... Yuck, from the put it to movie. death. Well, that one was mean, and it was kidnapping people and keeping them in cages and shit. That one was bad mm. news. Mm. But often... Like a big creature will turn up in Star Wars. And you think to yourself, yuck, put it to death. Put it to death. But often behind the scenes also, they're, they're in a situation they don't want to be in and then one of the main characters kills it. As an act of mercy, one would think. <laughs> Sometimes. Or just because it seems fun or it's in the way. It's blocking a door. Kill it, I reckon. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of the times in Star Wars, it's just like understood in the universe that this massively unique and beautiful creature that exists. Mm -hmm. And sure, it's got a bit of ferocity in it, but maybe it's it's part of a delicate ecosystem. Nah, just kill it. Yeah, just drop a, a fucking door on it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the universe is so big. Who cares? There's probably another one. I've never, I mean, I've never seen another one. There's probably another one around the corner. Some people never go past their, their local village. Yeah, exactly. As far as they know, the world's swarming with these <laughs> utterly unique creatures. <laughs> so I say knock this one right off. Stick a thermal detonator down, it's a gob. Absolutely. Yeah. So what I want to do, I want to go through through a list of these creatures that turn up and then are killed in the Star Wars universe. Okay, I'm ready. And I want to talk about whether or not we think it's a justified murder. Okay. You know, what do we lose? A righteous kill. Exactly. Or, as you mentioned before we started recording, is, would this one be delicious? Yeah, it might you know? be. I mean, a lot of them sound delicious. They certainly do. Uh, there's also some, of course, they encounter that get away. You know that big space slug? Uh, they're called Exogorth. You know, it tries to eat space the Space slug, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that one gets away. And by gets away, I mean they don't have the means to kill it. No, I'm sure my, th there's probably like an in-between call where they yeah. do go back and kill it. Well, that's probably true, yeah. I yeah. did actually look it up. Um, I couldn't find anything like that. But also, Han Solo, having a fair estimate of what that is, fires a blaster at it from the inside. <laughs> that's true, yeah. So, you know. Yeah. The... I reckon that would taste like ammonia, so I'm not going for that one. <laughs> okay, I'm fair not, enough. I'm not eating yeah. that one. No, no you're probably bad start. Right. And before we get into it, I think people um, will leave a like on this video. Don't you think? Did you just try to Jedi mind trick everyone out there? A little bit, yeah. Did it work? Yeah, we'll find out, will we? What if there's zero likes? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's the opposite? What, have we got a bunch of Wattos listening? <laughs> okay, what about the Wampa? On Hoth. Mm -hmm, yep, yep. Uh, it kidnaps Luke Skywalker. Yep. Hangs him up by the roof. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm going to eat this dude. Yeah, it's yeah, It's going to be great. He cuts the arm off. I know in Legends it turns up again in a book and it's got one arm and he kills it for good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, in canon at the moment, we don't know what happens to it. I would say it dies because it's got one arm and running around a frozen snow planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that's justified and delicious? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, Luke was on its turf, I guess. I yeah, guess. But I mean, if you've got a lightsaber, yeah. just use it, I reckon. But also, yeah, he had to escape because the Empire was striking back. That's what I'm talking so about, it couldn't yeah. Have, so, it, I mean, it you know. have died. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, and delicious? Probably taste a bit like yak. Yeah. No, I'm saying positively. Okay, Make a stew enough. out of that guy. Yeah. I reckon. Well, what's the, what's the thing that smells bad at... Smells worse on the inside. Let's talk about tauntauns. Well, ta make a tauntaun and that guy stew. Put it together. I think tauntauns are like mostly entrails. I think they're <laughs> entrails all the Very way Very entraily, right? I mean, to you be make sausages. Yes. You make tauntaun sausages with, it, with its own entrails. But also you see a Wampa eating one of its legs or whatever, so it's not all entrails. But mm. I feel bad for that one because they take him to Hoth and they're yes. like, these things aren't really equipped for this situation we put them in. The speeders haven't adapted to this planet, but we'll take these, these yeah. two-legged <laughs> creatures out. Han Solo rides one to death. That's true, yeah. But, you know, it's to save Luke and the, the Empire was striking back. And so also, he, you know, better that than him ride Chewbacca to death, <laughs> which was his other option. <laughs> he wouldn't, he'd be all muscle. He wouldn't be that tasty. He'd be like a kangaroo. You'd have to really, like, soften yeah, that meat up. Sure. Yeah, What about the, uh, the Rancor? Because the Rancor was beloved by the Rancor Keeper. That's true. We recently did an episode of our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk about a bunch of weird minor Star Wars characters. And we talk about him specifically, how they formed this bond. Mm. And he's trapped in this underground pit and everyone's presumably pouring like drinks on top of him That's and stuff. Right, yeah. And pissing uh -huh. into that cage. Drops Sounds like a beautiful him. marinade to me, but all right. <laughs> but yeah, like they force Luke Skywalker down there to, to kill him. Mm, yeah. And I feel like even though he's a horrible monster, it's kind of like the way people kill... Or mistreat a dog. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like, you know... Maybe a bit of kindness would have would have gone a bit further. But also, the Jedi were returning and he had to kind of see that through, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And also, you could make sandwiches out of that thing for weeks. <laughs> you definitely you could. You know what I mean? It's a lot of school lunches. He looks a bit kind of like a, like a lizardy kind of feel to that guy. Oh, not bad. Like crocodile. Yeah, like a bit like a Pretty crocodile. Good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. This one kind of upsets me. The Mudhorn from season one of The Mandalorian. Big hairy rhino. Oh, yeah. Yuck. No, He's not He's sent me. by the Jawas to kill it. Uh-huh. It's a mother. 
Uh, he does kill it with the help with a little baby wizard. Uh-huh. And then he steals the egg and gives it to horrible gremlins who like just crack it open and just, <laughs> sh- just mow into just it. Just feast on the inside. Yeah, but all of that looks bad, like to eat and oh, yeah, experience. No, all, no. I'm, I'm, that's all messed up. It's a I'm messed up situation. Totally yeah. against that. But that's kind. Of, I feel like that's kind of like, you know, I don't want to see how a lot of stuff is made. Yeah. Speaking of sausages, I don't want to see how <laughs> any of that sausage is made. But hey, maybe that egg's real good. They were very keen on it. So <laughs> They certainly were. Now, there's three particular animals that show up in Attack of the Clones in the gladiatorial arena combat scene. Oh, yes, they are. There's an acclay which is stabbed to death by Obi-Wan. It's a big crab monster. Mm, yep. Delicious crab. Oh my God, yes. I think deserved Gotta it. Gotta watch out if you're allergic though. Yeah, totally true. Do you reckon Obi-Wan would be? No. Nah. I reckon That's Anakin a... probably is. Yeah, he probably would be, wouldn't yeah. he? And he's gluten-free. <laughs> so, just by choice. Just by choice, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so big crab monster, probably delicious. Um, There's the Reek, which is another sort of rhino-esque creature. Mm-hmm. Kills uh, Jango Fett's backpack and then he kills it. Mm-hmm, sure, shoots sure. it right in the head. Yeah. And the Nexu, which is like a big rat, which Anakin kills with the rake, runs into it. Yeah, right. I don't know. I feel like, again, it's kind of like the Rancor, though. It's a gladiatorial environment. None of them want to be there. Yeah, if anything, I mean, if you let them, if you open the gates, they just escape. They wouldn't go out yeah. and kill anybody. They just, they just, you know, run for their native lands, I guess. Exactly. Wherever yeah. that is, probably a different planet, no doubt. Mm. Yeah, so. Or a, or a big pot of boiling water. <laughs> yum, right. yum, yum, yum. Just, I just, I'd, I'd eat the crab one. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah. not a rat, if a giant rat, if I'm honest. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, this is more recent. Yes. The, the crate dragon. Oh, yeah. Uh, which they kill in episode one of Mandalorian season two. Now, that's that. I mean, on the one hand, it is uh, it is a, uh, a threat to yep. the, the, the town. Yep. It's a threat to the Tusken Raiders. Yep. Uh, it's a, it's very dangerous. It but ate same, a, a bloody, a bloody um, what's it called? Sarlacc. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, the Mando is kind of killing it just to like, se- he's basically doing it to settle uh, he wants an argument, he, he essentially. He wants armor. He wants that armor back. It's a negotiation for him, yes. you know? It's also a slightly different design than what we've seen before. It's, it is usually more dragon-esque, and mm-hmm. this is more kind yeah. of dune sandworm tremors kind of yeah, uh-huh. uh, situation. On one hand, I feel like it is justified in a, in, a, in a big way because it's messing up the ecosystem. But I also feel like it's probably a creature that's been there longer than anything else on that planet. Oh. To get to that size, it's probably thousands of years old. Yeah. I mean, I know it's causing trouble, but it's kind of like like a big tree. That Why don't they, you move, yeah, townsfolk? Yeah, well, exactly. Just town sucks and nobody yeah. knows where <laughs> it is anyway. You know, if you moved literally anywhere else, that would be better. Yeah, so... I don't know. I mean, I, I love that scene. Yeah. I love how it comes together. I love how its belly is uh, explosion proof, it turns out, maybe. Mm. But it kind of feels like it's a victory, but is it justified ultimately? It's like hunting a whale, you know yeah, what I mean? that's right. They are terrorizing your towns, but that's not worth killing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But anyway, at the same time, yeah, why not? It's got it's, it's pretty scary, so. Yeah, kill it, I reckon. Get rid of that one. Yeah. But at the same time in that episode, there's banthers used as bait multiple times against yeah. that creature. And the one in particular uh, that <laughs> the Mandalorian gets swallowed at the end, yes. covered in explosions. That's like just killing a cow to kill a whale. Yep. <laughs> Is that how that's <laughs> exactly how that works, yeah. Yeah, so that's a bit sad, yeah. that one. Yeah. You get milk from those things, could've man. Put it on the, could have put all that dynamite on the back of a speeder. Exactly. Or a C-3PO protocol droid. You Whatever. Know? Yeah. Whatever. Mm. I mean, I guess he did the right thing by going inside it himself also and making that sacrifice. That's true. But he didn't explode. No. He didn't fly out holding the bantha, did he? He, could <laughs> he left <laughs> it in there. That's right. He didn't give the bantha the taser stick, did he? <laughs> also, I just want to mention the crate dragon. Apparently delicious. Look at the meat you get off that I thing. I right? Yeah. My goodness. Oh my God, yeah. Justified. So I've got a couple more here that I want to talk about. Go on. Obi-Wan's big iguana creature, not to be confused with the actual iguana, which shows up in Return of the Jedi. You know the big iguana that he rides? It's called oh, a yes. boga in um, Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm, yep, sure. It's in Order 66. It's shot and it's presumed dead. It falls off the cliff. and Because it was a Jedi lizard thing. Yeah, but I mean, sort of. He found it. Okay, and right. He went, I'm using this. Okay. And the clones just went, yep, fine, whatever. I mean... That's not his fault. It's obviously the clone's fault, but a bit rough is what I'm saying. That's a little Just bit rough. Just a big isn't iguana. It? Yeah. Tastes a bit like a crocodile, though, so I don't know whether that's uh, 
when you want to factor that in. You think later in the in the movie, maybe there's a deleted scene where Obi Wan is eating it pinchy style, like Homer <laughs> Simpson, just <laughs> crying and crying over his beautiful steed, but just hoeing down on it with some garlic butter. I believe there's a moment, and it might be Legends or it might be Canon, where he laments the the loss of his giant iguana. He's like, yeah. "Oh, that sucks." The last one I actually want to talk about uh, takes a bit of a turn. It's the Vexus. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's from the Rise of Skywalker. Okay. It's the big angry snake. That Ray heals. Oh yeah, right. And uh-huh. this is what distinguishes the Rise of Skywalker from literally every other Star Wars property. It's the only moment in this series where one of the main characters takes the time to not kill the thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Them, you know? They have so many guns, there's at least one lightsaber in that scene. Exactly. They've got that special knife. It's probably really good for stabbing big snakes. No doubt. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason people didn't respond to that movie because they knew deep down in that moment. It felt not genuine. That's not Star Wars, is it? No. You kill what you see. You don't think about it. Yeah. And you move on. Look, I have my problems with uh, The Rise of Skywalker, but this one is obviously the biggest. Don't be healing a big snake. That's right. Yeah. Maybe they wanted to get it up to full strength so they could kill it for (laughs) fun later. (laughs) Yeah. So Ray comes back at the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the now it's time for a rematch. And the snake's like, what? <laughs> Head chopped off. So, yeah, there you go. Which, which do people think is the most delicious? I'd love to hear that below. Yeah, do you have any recipes out there? Mm, I'm looking here. I'm like, which one's, which one's the one that I want? Because I think about it, I think. Yeah, I reckon bantha wings. Yeah, how would you do them also? Like, yeah, you know that's I mean? right. What's, the, what's your preparation? Nug nugs. Yeah, that's right. And also, if there's something here that we haven't mentioned that you'd like to eat in the Star Wars universe, what is it? There's those frogs jabbers into. What's your favourite colour of milk? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Blue, green? Those are it. Mm, that's true. For now, yeah. yeah. Would you rather a canonically new version of milk? <laughs> Red milk? Red milk. Red milk. Also, of course, we do have a podcast uh, called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out every Monday if you do want to check it out. Also, if you want early videos, if you want bonus podcasts, if you want movie commentaries, if you sign up at bigsandwich.co, nine bucks a month, there's a whole lot of bonus stuff there which you could check out if you want. It's completely optional. But please do. We have a grand old time over there. We talk Star Wars sometimes. We're talking Star Wars all the time over there. And cooking of weird creatures. We'll do a podcast on that. We'll do a podcast on whatever you want, honestly. We mentioned recently we'd maybe do one on Burn Notice. It might have been a joke, but (laughs) if people want us to do it, we'll talk about Burn Notice. Any Bernies out there? Yeah. Any Any Bernie Bernie bros? (laughs) <laughs> That's what that is, right? <laughs> That's what that is. Anyways, thanks for watching this. Grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. 